Welcome to another video, A Walk With Phil. And I'm here in West Bromwich. And uh, what we're gonna to do today is take a walk up to the oldest part of West Bromwich. Yeah, I'm not far away from there. But first of all, what I wanna do is take you around a few places that you might remember if you went to school around these parts or lived around these parts. Uh, there was a school up the road here called Churchfield School, so maybe you remember that. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. But first of all, you can see in front of me, we've got McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Who remembers what used to be there? It used to be a pub called the Four in Hand. And that pub was built to replace a previous pub called the Leopard. I'm not sure anybody can remember that one. But yet the Four in Hand, that was very famous around these parts. Uh, West Bromwich Alvin Place used to visit that one for some reason. Anyway, this is Parsonage Street. And let's have a look at Parsonage Street, shall we? And uh, yeah, I'll just have a quick look here. On the left, there's a few shops here on the left here. Yeah, Subway. Uh, there's a convenience store, a fish and chip shop. Oh, and, uh, and significantly with a fish and chip shop, um, there used to be a very famous chippy right here where this white van used to be. Can anybody remember the Threepenny Bit? Yeah, it was a Threepenny Bit fish shop. It's uh, if you look down, if you was up in the air and you look downwards, it, it would look it would shape like a Threepenny Bit. And you were always popular with us kids who used to come from Churchfield School and come and visit this chip shop right here on this car park. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's carry on. In front of us there, we've got the Sandwell Pharmacy. That used to be a ladies' hairdressers, if I remember rightly. Um, and down there to the right is, um, would be taking you to uh, Dartmouth Park. And the road to the left, um, just here, that would take you down to Sandwell Valley, the park farm and also St Dartmouth Golf Club. Okay. So we're on Church Vale now. Church Vale. Uh, yeah, and as kids, we'd walk up here, or uh, we'll walk down here and go to this chip shop here on this car park that used to be called the Thrapney Bit. And uh, yeah, and we'd, and uh, yeah, as kids, we'd walk along here to school. And there's a road just here on the right, which used to be the rear entrance of Churchfield School. And uh, still lots of terraced housing here along Church Vale. Yeah. Lots of housing. Old terraced housing that used to stretch further than this, but obviously a lot have been demolished now. And these new type of apartments, when we say new, I'm I'd imagine they've been here since the the 1980s. Uh, yeah, there used to be another pub here called the was it the Ring of Bells? The Ring of Bells used to be on this very spot, very famous old pub, the Ring of Bells. I'll tell you why in a minute. Just showing this road here where it says Dartmouth Golf Club. This road on the right. That would take you to the rear of Churchfield High School, or Comprehensive School, it was one school. Uh, yeah, yeah, down there. And of course there on the left now, there's all new build houses on the fields, all on the playing fields where Churchfield School used to be. Yeah, um, on this side here, on my left was, yeah, was a ring of, ring of bells. And on this particular um, piece of grass here, uh, no sign of it now, but it used to be here for many years after the original pub was demolished in 1971 for road widening, which you can see in front of me is now the dual carriageway, All Saints Way, which used to be called Scott Street. But here there used to be a fenced off area, um, uh, right up to, uh, yeah, with these green boxes. It was somewhere around here anyway. Uh, it used to be a fenced off area and the original fencing from the days of the pub built in the 1800s was still here for years after 
Well, well it used to, it, the pub used to um, keep stray horses here. Um, and it was called the Pound, this particular area where it was fenced off. And they used to keep the horses, stray horses used to be kept here in this particular area called the Pound. Yeah, so if you remember all this fenced off area, yes, it used to belong to a pub called the Ring of Bells. Anyway, we'll carry on along here in Church Vale. And where that car has just exited, that white car, that's the entrance to Churchfield School, which of course is no more. I think it was demolished in the 90s and uh, and these vast pieces of ground land are then built over with new houses and apartments and of course some of which are here on the corner. These houses here would be built near E Block, <laughs> Churchfield's E Block. I think there was five blocks of Churchfields. A, B, C, D and E, yeah. And, uh, yeah, just, just have a quick walk along here to find the entrance to where the school used to be. Yeah, there you go. There was the entrance to the school, Churchfield School. And to commemorate that a school actually did stand here once, the road is called Churchfield's Way. Churchfield's Way. So, if you've left this area for quite some time and you've decided to come back and check out your old school, you'll be shocked to find it no longer exists. It's a big housing estate. And the only clue you've got now is the street sign which says Churchfield's Way. It's very busy along here now. The dual carriageway of All Saints Way will take you at the right, it will take you down to the Great Bar area of West Bromwich. To the left, it will take you to, uh, uh, to the left over there, it will take you to Heath's, Heath Lane Cemetery. Yeah, uh, the Newton Road is also now a very busy dual carriageway. It used to be a single road once back in the day. Uh, everywhere around here now is crazy. But anyway, I'm walking to the very oldest, one of the very oldest parts of West Bromwich now, and the, it's occupied by All Saints Church. And this was the oldest part of West Bromwich, but also the main part of West Bromwich. But when industry came along, um, most of it was built at the other end of West Brom, where the High Street is, and so everybody, most people then, move from this countrified agricultural area of West Bromwich up to the more populous area. So here we are then at All Saints Church. Very famous church, All Saints. Uh, on the top there is a cross. And that cross used to be illuminated at night bright white light you could see for miles but sadly it's lit up no more due to the fact it kept being struck by lightning and the last time it was struck they decided that was it no more lighting up of the cross okay let's go through the lich gate of this famous church And uh, yeah, it'd be quieter along here. The church is open. Um, you always be unsure about that you can go in because they stay where you can't film. Uh, private property and all that, but yeah. And he's a very famous grave. Um, he, this person is uh, uh, Captain James Eaton. 
who lived at Hill House in West Bromwich. And he died in 1857, aged 71. And he was actual um, a signalman at the Battle of Trafalgar in October the 21st, 18, 1805. Okay then folks, so we'll uh, wrap this video up now and uh, if, you, uh, if you like the video hit the like button, also hit subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos and uh, yep, I'll see you on the next one.